What do you do to reduce incidents and accidents in your fleet? Well, we ensure that we have the right vehicles, safe vehicles with the necessary features on the road and we do a lot of communication and education in that regard to optimize behavior. We foresee in our fleet policy that our vehicles are equipped with uh, additional safety features that can help drivers avoid accidents as much as possible. How can you encourage your employees to optimize driver behavior without demotivating or punishing them? What we try to do is take an individual approach, identify the drivers where we feel there might be an issue and then um, follow up with that uh, with HR. It's mainly on the communication side, I would say, making sure that you give a positive communication um, rather than a negative one. Um, and therefore we partner with our environmental health and safety group to make sure that we give the right message. Are you using telematics to optimize safety in your fleet? The more data you have, the better you can adjust your strategy in order to uh, deliver a better result from a safety and security perspective. Telematics can help uh, manage your fleet better because you get real-time information uh, not just on driver behavior but also on state of the vehicle etc. Connectivity is a real buzzword in the fleet industry. Do you think that more connected services, more connectivity will enhance fleet safety? Connectivity from a vehicle perspective uh, with, for instance, on-road assistance that you, with one button you can call for help. Yes, I would not put too much connectivity either so that people do not get distracted from driving correctly. Well, I certainly believe that connectivity can help. Um, it can, preventive maintenance and all those elements can certainly be way better uh, addressed with the connectivity of vehicles versus what we had in the past.